Yo, I might Bitcoin in my house. But is mining Bitcoin in your house still worth it? The results may surprise you. I'm giving you real world data. I'm on all kinds of cryptocurrencies at the crib. Like, boom! That's like five different coins being mined that back there. But what you can hear is a Bitcoin miner. Let me turn your volume down. Let me gift you the sound of the current generation of Bitcoin mining rigs. My name is Voss. You're on the Voscoin YouTube channel. We cover Bitcoin and other stuff. Let's break it down. Is it worth it or not anymore? How so? Why? The, the, the data. Forget that cream quote. We got a lot to unpack today, so let's get to unpacking Bitcoin. You guessed it, the biggest cryptocurrency in the world ever still. Got some mining numbers coming in. How much does your mining rig make? Well, it's not exactly so much how much does your mining rig make, right? How much? How many Bitcoins do you earn mining Bitcoin per day? What's well, that electricity cost? Let's go to 236. Hello, hello. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Come again. Bam. So we're in. It's just that easy to log into your miner. I've run through all this stuff before, but a quick primer is you get this rig. You make sure you have the electricity set up for it. We got an electricity guide on that. We got a video setup guide on setting up the miner, but you plug it into an outlet. You use a power cable, in this case two power cables or one with a Y connection and an ethernet cable off to the races. Log in your router, get that IP address and we are in. You see I have it set up to the mining pool that I want with my uh, username, dot, worker name, password one, two, three, passwords have gone the way of the dinosaur. This thing's got uptime for four days but I've pretty much been running this one for a month. Uh, real time hash rate is above what it's supposed to do it, it's this miner is performing very well the conditions it's mining in are pretty good now that things are finally starting to cool off my new mining farm is not ready yet and uh, so i deal with kind of inadequate cooling here what's interesting though is when, when you look at the average total hash rate and what i actually get paid for on the pool is, is below that 111 it's at 107 terahash a second terahash is basically power for bitcoin mining rig stuff like that what's going on right s19 pro 100 terahash second model is what we're dealing with this thing consumes over 3,000 watts this is how much bitcoin we are earning per day it's a very small number, which to be honest is kind of depressing. Way back when you could have mined Bitcoins, like truly per day. Now you mine micro units of a Bitcoin or a Satoshi is what it's referred to. Kind of like a penny on the dollar. So we take this metric, seems pretty average. And our Bitcoin miner is earning $7.45 a day. That doesn't account for the electricity bill. The good news is that Bitcoin mining rig prices have been plummeting i want to sincerely thank coin mining central for helping us source our miners and in particular they had usa stock of miners like for example this one shipment from within the usa no tariffs nothing like that bitcoin mining rig prices have come down tremendously a lot of people think that a bitcoin mining rig costs 10 grand it's just not the case anymore look at all of these different miners they should have some profitability here right this should be some passive income robotic money making machines, right? They're, they're application specific integrated circuits. They're purpose built miners. But depending on your electricity, instead of putting them in your home, it may be better to throw them out the window or a much more sensible thing would simply be to sell them. We do have an affiliate code that doubles as a discount code for you, so I'll drop that down in the video description below. But again, I'm not here to push mining rigs on you. Buy them if you want to or don't if you don't. My goal, mission, dream here is to have fun and make valuable content, not to try to get a quick affiliate buck sale on you. I've been trying to build the Voscoin YouTube channel for over half a decade now, and the mission's much bigger than just that. So this is nine cents per kilowatt hour with some of the top SHA-256, which is the mining algorithm for Bitcoin uh, mining rigs, right? So we see the S19 Pro. Uh, this is the model we have with our data right here. It's supposed to earn a dollar a day. Um, you see the most profitable Bitcoin mining rig right now should be pulling about $7 a day. A lot of pretty recent generation Bitcoin miners are somehow underwater. When you look at some of these release dates, they're not all that old. So how are these things not all that profitable? Well, 
Bitcoin mining has been getting more difficult than ever before. These metrics are all at nine cents per kilowatt hour. It wasn't working with nine cents on this chart, so I bumped it down, or I, I pushed it down to eight cents, and then I got the proper reading for whatever reason. Uh, realistically, your residential electricity rate is probably 10, 11, 12, 15 cents per kilowatt hour, or potentially much worse. I mean, here's the deal is, is Bitcoin mining is more difficult than it's ever been before. So we look at all time, we literally just hit an all time high, which means that it is more difficult than ever before to mine Bitcoin. Okay, that's crazy. That's scary. The other thing, Bitcoin having countdown. Okay, in 530 days, the amount of Bitcoin that's mined per day is gonna be cut in half. So if nothing changes, you will make half as much money because you'll be making half as much Bitcoin mining Bitcoin. So if you're making a dollar a day, you're going to only be earning 50 cents per day. And so let's just take a price of about $3,000 for a mining rig right now. And uh, you, know, you wanna make your money back over the next year. Oh, and don't forget, you also need to pay the electricity bill along the way. So if you made 10 bucks a day over the next 365 days, you would pull $3,650. Depending on your electricity rate, this thing will probably cost you somewhere between $1,000 to $3,000 per year to operate. Yeah, like consult a professional, not financial advice. You could operate like a business. You could expense the miner. You could expense the electricity, right? You could take depreciation. You could do all these things that help you, right? But if you just lose money, well, that ain't really a good business. Marge, if you don't mind, I'm a little busy right now achieving financial independence. With cans of grease? No, through savings and wise investments. But there's a lot of people with cheap electric rates, and there's a lot of major mining farms that are blowing up right now. For example, Core Scientific, who we toured, which have a crazy facility, is exploring bankruptcy, okay? Argo, another major Bitcoin miner, is facing a negative cash flow as a 27 million financial deal falls through. Yet there's other people who's still trying to expand with Bitcoin mining right like jack dorsey of block twitter's former ceo creator everything all that mr web5 is looking to hire bitcoin mining roles crusoe energy acquires great american mining they're utilizing flare gas for cheap mining deployments fabric system raised 13 million to develop a new liquid cool mining machine grayscale unveils a new bitcoin mining focused investment entity partnered with foundry Riot just broke ground on its one gigawatt mining center in Texas. Compass Mining is still here, and they just inked the deal for 27 megawatt hosting agreement with Aspen Creek. And Canon is dropping a new generation of Avalon miners. We'll see how those hold up though. Lately, they've seemed to be a generation behind their competitors. Binance Pool is looking to take advantage of all these just miners in tough situations with a 500 million dollar fund to invest in distressed mining assets i mean a couple of different ways to look at that but they're also looking at launching a cloud mining business stronghold faces a lawsuit for their ipo i mean celsius customers want the investors to give them some money from the celsius mining operations that exist and you know the whole celsius debacle we don't need to beat a dead horse on that one apparently argentina's tax authority raised another unlicensed crypto mining farm and the european union okay says bitcoin miners must prepare to stop operating in the event of an energy crisis this has been a crazy month for bitcoin mining you look at the the earnings here right spending three grand i mean let's be honest let's face it you might as well just buy bitcoin and as someone who loves money i mean look at the background look, look i love mining okay i need to just take the gpu off my shelf back there because gpu mining is more than dead with the loss of ethereum as i shouted off of every cliff for years and yet a lot of people still wanted to argue with me on that one yeah i mean we, we look at my mining uh results here i'm burning more in electricity than i'm earning in bitcoin with my residential electric rate on this i'm looking to build out a solar farm that'll help me deal with this 
It's going to be capital intensive. We'll see how it goes, but we're well underway with our mining dreams there. But I'm not here to push my mining dreams on you. I'm also not here to push you away from mining necessarily. I don't care if you get into mining. I don't think me making a mining video every single day about Bitcoin mining would be the difference between my personal mining operation being successful or, or not. So when you run the numbers and you look at it, right, we, we have a halving in less than two years, right? So profits are going to be slashed in half. We hope for new all time highs and Bitcoin becoming more valuable, which will bring a lot of relief to Bitcoin miners. You can mine coin if you have enough USD reserves to float those electric bills, right? You can hodl your Bitcoin and hope for greener days. But keep in mind, you're still paying tax on your earnings. It can quickly be not as lucrative as you had hoped and just dreamed of and, and imagined. The situation's dire. There's not there's not there's no other real way to say it. Uh, there's a newer generation of Bitcoin miners coming out, the S19 XP. They're still under the S19 naming, but they are more efficient. They use less energy per terahash, like your, your hash unit there, right? And now they're pushing these water-cooled units. But there's a big issue with these water-cooled units. They're not for at-home residential mining. They're really set to be deployed in mining farm containers and big mining facilities that have the infrastructure and knowledge in place to deal with things like this. That's why they're pushed in the pre-built ant box thing from bitmain which is basically an overpriced customized shipping container for mining cryptocurrencies specifically bitcoin in this case and they even ship it outfitted with all these miners already in there which is not a single bit of good news for residential bitcoin miners the dream of one cpu one vote is dying that's all there is to it you know there's, there, again there's a couple different ways to look at this uh but Bitcoin mining is less decentralized than it's ever been. It's industrialized, big money's here. So what some people wanted, results aren't always the best thing. It's not always as simple as more money comes in and now your orange coin goes up. Bitcoin mining is unfortunately kind of turning into a rich man's game, which sucks. The only way I'm personally truly thinking I can combat that is start generating my own electricity, pay these panels off, free electric, get these rigs, earn Bitcoin, pay them off, paid off solar panels, paid off mining rigs, free digital money. The only other alternative is seeking places with super cheap electricity and deploying gear there, but I'm not interested in basically moving or frequently traveling to obscure places in the world or even the United States. To sum it up and round it out, Bitcoin mining for the residential at home miner is absolutely dying at best our next bitcoin bull run will probably be the last time that people are even trying to buy bitcoin miners to run in their home it's sad it's sobering it sucks but that's the situation that's the data big money is coming in which is bad for small money like me maybe you maybe you, maybe you big money right Maybe you're big money. Core Scientific watches my videos, as they used to, back before they went public. But hey, I don't know everything, just maybe something. Thanks for watching. My name's Vosk. You're on the Vosk on YouTube channel. Please subscribe, hit the thumbs up, share the video. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Did I already say that? If I did, I'm sorry. Lights turned off. Now look at this. The color's worse. And I said goodbye. Why are you still here?